I'm Joanne Banco. When you're heading out on a trip, it's always fun to have a great looking tote bag to take along. So I've actually got a tote bag project for you today, a quick tip for using the fringe foot to create decorative fringe trim on the ribbon that's sewed to the tote bag. So let me show you how easy it is to do. I've already attached my fringe foot, and if you look at the foot here, you'll see it's got a bar in the center. I'm gonna put my ribbon on stabilizer. Of course, you'd use a nice long piece, and you could also add a decorative stitch down the center. That gives it even a little bit more um, trim look. And I'm just gonna roll right down the edge of the ribbon stitch right down and what it's actually doing is creating a loopy um, effect because the zigzag stitch is forming right over that bar. It takes a little, little bit of time because you're using a really short stitch length so I'm gonna go just part way here and I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna raise up my needle and you can see there are the loops there formed right over that ribbon. This is a two-step process, so once I've created my loops, I only have one more step to go. I'm gonna switch back to the regular presser foot, snap that on, and always make sure you get your threads underneath the foot. Now I'm gonna select a second stitch, and this stitch is a straight stitch but it stitches three times, so it's called a triple straight stitch. And I'm gonna stitch that right along one edge of the loops. And I'm doing that so that I can anchor my loops in place. You're gonna see the very last step is gonna to be to trim that away. So I've got that done. Pull this out. Now it's a simple matter of literally snipping through my bobbin thread on the wrong side. So it looks a little bit messy, but you're gonna see the effect when I take a little sharp tool and just pull those out. And then you can trim the little hairs, neaten that up, and you've got a great looking fringe trim. There's a lot you can do with this fringe foot, like the baby bib you see here, and of course the great tote bag. You'll find complete instructions when you visit the website.